Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Pumpkin Fest is here, so let's get into the video. Alright, so as you can see, Pumpkin Fest is here. We have Hollow Jack right here, and we have this new pumpkin, which um, this is sort of a new feature that we're going to be seeing. We can also see that this is much darker than usual. There's some green mist, so let's go ahead and get into... I think we're probably going to have to battle Hollow Jack here, so let's see what happens. So, Hollow Jack says, I am hungry. Next time I will eat everything. Boogie. Hollow Jack is eating the festival decorations. There is one way to stop him, but we'll need more help. And then we get a big flash, and there are some sort of wizards here. And it says, Wizards, let's get together to make a giant pile of candy corn. Fill the bucket and we'll give it to Hollow Jack. Battle monsters to collect candy corn. You can also get extra candy corn from battling Hollow Jack. Stay spooky. So then we're going to be met by sort of a tutorial here, which says, Finish goals on time to earn special rewards. Each tab has different kinds of goals to play. Work together on group goals to unlock pieces of the story. So let's go ahead and the first one is going to be to collect 50 or this is 5 million gold. Um, then the next one will be complete goals with people to unlock. And then the final one will be complete goals with players to unlock. Um, and then the first one was complete swipe to continue story. So I guess that was just the intro. Yeah. So this isn't really uh, necessary for us to go through again. So yeah. Um, the tasks that we have that we can do, I wonder if these are going to actually give any rewards. We can go ahead and look. So yeah, these will give rewards. And we have one that will give 450 gold. We have one that will give, I believe this is Viper Cuffs. Or, yeah, it's Viper Cuffs, I think. 300 candy corn. Um, I don't remember what this wand is called. We can get some legendary boots. Uh, Scarrow, um, a new pet gear, um, some stuff, or I guess this is Plushkin, 400 candy corn. This is a new um, wand that is in the game. House item, there are supposed to be some new house items. I haven't seen anything leaked about that. Maybe we'll see some of them in here though. There's a new mount right here. Um, some of this is useless. This, uh, these aren't really new, but they are some of the better items I'm seeing. And if we keep going on, it doesn't look like there's anything too interesting. This is technically new. Um, the pet hat's new. This pet hat's new. This is not new. Um, so yeah, this relic is new as well. And uh, then, yeah, I guess that's everything that's not, or I guess that's everything that's new here. We can get plushkins and uh, uh, viper cups. Is that everything? There's also magic coin that we can get. So yeah, that's everything. Also, in our tasks, are we able to get magic coin here? That's something that's sort of important because non-members cannot get magic coin for some reason. And that looks like it's going to continue. So uh, I don't know what they're doing there. So. Um, I guess we can probably just go straight to the stylist. Yeah, so they don't have it locked like in Starlight Festival. So I guess there are probably some new haircuts. This one called Igor uh, doesn't look too good. Uh, this one doesn't look good either. Baron V. We have Pumpkin Patch, which I don't like that. Um, Autumn Breeze, not great. Wolf kind of looks weird. And Ghost Hunter. And then we have Franken Crops, which I don't like, but I guess it kind of looks cool. And then we have Franken Bride, which I don't like too much either. For our hair color, we do have some new ones. We have Midnight, Dark Red, Jet Black. I feel like that's been in the game. We have Pumpkin, Black, Purple, which I feel like Purple's been in the game. And then we have Vampy, Slime, and ectoplasm so yeah let's go ahead and check out the wheel this does look pretty cool we can get i guess there's one new thing here which is that and this wheel is going to be around for eight days so i guess we're going to get alternating ones like we did inside of 
a Starlight Festival. And it looks like we're going to get a slime here, yep. So, not a great reward. Um, we can also check to see if there's anything in Candy Corn's shop. And also, we'll check if there's anything added to Dragon Isle a little later after we battle Hollow Jack. So, let's go ahead and see if there's anything good inside of these shops. So, we could go ahead and battle Rattlefang, or, or not battle, we could uh, buy it, we're not going to do that. Uh, we could also buy Asp Fear or Viper Cups. We're not going to do that. Um, you can also get the Scarrow hat for 370 Magic Coin. Um, I don't see why anyone would want to spend this much Magic Coin on this stuff. Um, here, I don't think any of these hats are new. Um, yeah, I don't think any of them are. Um, I guess this, uh, the Fall Court Cape is new. Um, the Luminite Nask, uh, I guess, is probably also new. We have the Franken jacket, which is new. None of this other stuff seems to be. Uh, it kind of seems like everything that's new it costs magic coin. Yeah. Um, so these two boots are new. This is new, and of course, it costs magic coin. Um, it looks like literally every single new item costs magic coin, even the relics. Although this one is only 40 magic coin but i don't think it's very good i'll go ahead and buy it anyways um so yeah we can also go ahead and none of the buddies are too interesting uh none of them are new but at least they are candy corn we have a new mount which is the trick or treat bag which sadly is 815 magic coin and it has a heart bonus of 185, which I guess is pretty good. It might have another uh, bonus, I'm not 100% sure. And then I guess we do have a new house item here, which is the Frame of Fall. Um, I think that's the only new one, but I think this has been leaked for a pretty long time. So that's nice that we have that in the game. And then we have some Morph Marbles here, which none of them are too interesting. So yeah, I think that's everything in there. I do really like this mist that we have here. And then I guess we'll go ahead and I do actually want to see what happens if we click on the sign. Okay, it just sends us here. So I guess let's get into a battle against Hollow Jack. Uh, I'm not sure what element he's going to be. I guess he's probably going to be Shadow, so I want to put on Astral stuff maybe. So. Um, I guess we'll do that, so, um, let's put on the Star Drake Relic, and, uh, let's see what happens here. So, we are going to load in here, and, uh, I guess he has Storm Pets, and, okay, we actually do have, um, Plant Pets, I'm not sure why I'm using them, but we do have them, so that's nice. Um, so... I think he's probably about the same difficulty as Sir Constello was. I do want to see if he has some like custom name, how Sir Constello was like Sir Constello Omega, Sir Constello Alpha, and Sir Constello Beta, I believe. So let's go ahead and check that out. So he's just called Hollow Jack Storm. I don't think he's going to have any uh, like unique names. So we take out the uh, Tribeak Storm Cloud there. That's not what its name is anymore. I don't even remember what its new name is. Um, but let's go ahead and use Galactic Go Glow on, I guess, uh, this guy, and that does decent damage. So, I think that we should pretty easily win this battle. Um, I did forget what Hollow Jack's, uh, attack animation looks like, but it's pretty cool. So... We did sadly hit Hollow Jack there. Does 15, 12 critical though, so that's nice. And we could potentially take out the uh, Kaw Kaw. I don't think that's its real name. So I guess some of the pets that you're going to be able to battle in here are going to have custom names, like how that was the case inside of Starlight Festival. Uh, Kaw Kaw is a pretty decent name, I think. Um, and I guess that would mean that when you're going around battling pumpkins, that would be 
there are those that have custom names as well. Uh, we'll do that in a little bit. Um, after this, I am going to go ahead and check out um, Dragon Isle because I think that there could be some stuff for us to do in there. Hopefully, they release a, a dragon inside of Dragon Isle, just like they did with Starlight Festival. Uh, it would kind of be annoying if they didn't, because then I have no idea when they would add one. Uh, we don't have any leaks on that, though, so we'll just have to see what happens with that. But we have Holojack down to about half health, a little lower than half health. And let's go ahead and use Green Gust right here. 1008. So I think that we're going to have to do probably about four, three or four more hits to defeat him. So we'll use Strangling Vine here, and that gets dodged. And yeah, I guess we should use an all out attack here. That'll get him to about 2,000 or 1,000 health. Also, I remember there being something. People have been getting, like, really high magic points. Like, you can get up to five of these. Um, for some reason, I only have one. Let me know, let me know how many of them that you guys have, because, uh, that could be something that's coming out. Like, we're gonna continue to get more of them. And, yeah, there we go. We beat Hollow Jack, and let's see. We can get uh, magic, or not magic coin, um, we're just gonna get candy corn from this. Uh, I think there was a wand in there, although it's a very bad wand. I think it only has, like, bonuses of 40. And then we get three, uh, candy corn from that. So, let's see how much the counter went up by. Not sure why nothing is loading here. I think I might have to reload the page. So yeah, I did have to reload the page. Let's go ahead and see, did the uh, candy corn thing update? No, it did not. Um, so I'm assuming it's just gonna update like daily. I don't think it will just update with one uh, person getting things because that would probably lag out the game. I don't think they have the memory for that. Um, so let's go ahead and see, is there a new portal in Dragon Isle? It looks like there is based on the fact that there's an exclamation point. Um, we're not going to be doing that in this video, though. Let's see. So, it's the plant portal, or plant rift. I don't think the plant dragon was added. Yeah, um, I guess it's probably the physical dragon that's going to be in this. Although, it could have been added. I haven't looked at the CDN to see what was updated. But, um, yeah, as I said, we're not going to do that in this video. Just wanted to check to see... And then, let's head back to Pumpkin Fest, because I do want to go ahead and look around, because I have not seen any of the other areas to see what those look like. Um, it is pretty cool that the lamps seem to be, seem to be flashing a little bit. So, I guess let's just go ahead and look around to see what Pumpkin Fest looks like. So, this area looks pretty cool. I like how they have... Uh, sort of the flash or glow coming out of the windows. That looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and head down here and see what it looks like. I think that there shouldn't be anything too interesting. I do like these candles with the animated green uh, fires. So let's go ahead and head this way. I would like it if... Um, okay, there's Hollow Jack there. That's pretty interesting. I would like it if the mist would sort of go over the wizards. I guess it actually does, or it goes over Hollow Jack. I can't tell if it goes over a wizard or not, but I don't think that we're going to battle Hollow Jack. I'm not going to try and get close to him and see uh, what would happen if I were to do that. Um, also, we will be looking for a glowing pumpkin, I guess. I don't know if it's supposed to be a glowing pumpkin or if Hollow Jack is actually supposed to be what we're going to have to battle for like our random battles. So let's go ahead and head up this way. And if we don't find any of the pumpkins with the uh, exclamation point above them, I guess it's just Hollow Jack that we're going to have to battle as our daily battles. So we are going to see. So the 
di or dragon up here. For some reason, its eyes are not glowing. That's kind of interesting. Also, I don't know if they're gonna make it so that over time it will get to be its normal shade. I don't know if it's gonna stay night like this forever. Also, there's a Terramite here, okay. That's kind of interesting. So it kind of seems like just monsters can spawn anywhere, maybe. Um, let's go ahead and head up to the Academy Crossroad. And yeah, nothing seems to be too interesting up here. I am going to just head back to Lamplight like this because I don't want to get into the battle with the Terramite there, or the Bone Terramite. And then let's go ahead and head to the right. And would there be another monster somewhere around here? This area looks pretty cool. And then let's go down, and let's see. Is there going to be a monster down here as well? No. So let's head back up, and I think this is the last area that we're going to go ahead and check out inside of uh, Lamplight Town. So we are heading to the History District. Yes, I think that this looks really cool. I love how this dinosaur right here, it looks so cool. We cannot go inside of the store still though. So that's a little annoying. It sort of looked like that guy over there had come out of it. Uh, I think that might've just been lag though. So yeah, I guess that's everything that was added to Pumpkin Fest today. Um, the rewards I wouldn't say are too great, um, but I do really like how the area looks. It looks really cool with the sort of night theme that they went with this time. Um, so yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. So let me know, or video, let me know what you guys think about Pumpkin Fest in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and bye.